Hi, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and Lesson 20 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam course, which is the T6B questions and goes over semiconductors. The T6B section covers the basic principles of diodes and transistors. Now, diodes and transistors are made out of semiconductor material, which is why they're called semiconductors. Now, just to kind of give you a baseline of what you need to know for the exam, semiconductors and transistors and diodes, you can go pretty deep into them, and there's a lot of theory involved. But to note, what you need to know for the exam is that semiconductor material is essentially a material that is not a good conductor, nor is it a good insulator. And the most commonly used types of material in electronics are crystals of silicon or germanium. And what a manufacturer will do is they'll take these crystals and dope them with a chemical. And depending on what chemical they dope them with, it'll give them a positive bias, making them a p-type material, or a negative bias, making them an n-type material. Now, for a diode, a diode is a piece of n-type material put together with a piece of p-type material. And what diodes do is they block current flow in one direction and allow current flow in another direction. A transistor is three types of semiconductor material. And it's usually two types of one, excuse me, two layers of one type of material sandwiching a layer of a second type of material. So it'd be like two p-type layers sandwiching an n-type layer. Now the two types of transistors you need to know for the exam are a bipolar junction transistor and a FET transistor. Now one of the things common to all transistors is they have three leads and depending on what type of transistor you're talking about, the names of the leads change and you have to, we'll go over that in the, the questions. But a bipolar junction transistor, what it can do is it can amplify signals. And what a field effect transistor or FET can do is it can act as a switch or control current going through, going through a circuit. So if you remember that, that should give you a good baseline for these questions. If you want more information, I'll, I'll recommend a book that's very good and gives a very good simple explanation of transistors. The stuff on the internet's a little bit complex. So with that said, let's get going with the questions. What class of electronic component is capable of using a voltage or current signal to control current flow? And the answer is transistors. And transistors are probably one of the greatest discoveries of the 20th century. Everything you own that is an electronic device has transistors in it nowadays. Now, we talked a little bit about a bipolar junction transistor, and it's essentially three layers of semiconductor material. The bipolar junction transistor has three leads, and those leads are a, an emitter, a collector, and a base. Now, the thing to remember with a bipolar junction transistor is that small changes of current in the base can result in big changes in current at the emitter connection, which often amplify these signals. So if you're looking for to control the current flow using voltage or current, remember transistors do that. What electronic component allows current to flow in only one direction? A diode only allows current to flow in one direction. And the diode came before the transistor. And diodes consist of two types of semiconductor material, a P side and an N side. And the combination of these two materials causes the flow of electrons to go in only one direction, like the valves in your heart only allow blood to flow in one direction. All right, when a DC current runs through a diode, everything is OK, assuming the diode is connected to the circuit correctly. When an AC current is applied, the diode will allow the current to flow in one direction, but stop it going the other direction. Just remember, diodes only allow current to flow in one direction. Which of these components can be used as an electronic switch or amplifier? Remember, switches and amplifiers affect current flow. So a transistor can be used to, as an electronic switch or amplifier. And a, like I said, a bipolar junction transistor will affect, will, will be an amplifier. The FET will be the switch. Which of these components is made of three layers of semiconductor material? The answer is a transistor. So transistors are a type of semiconductor in that the material that they're made of is not exactly the best conductor in the world, but it's also not the worst conductor in the world. It's kind of in the middle, so it's a semiconductor. The other thing you need to know is you really need to memorize is that tr transistors have three layers of material. And the more familiar you get with transistors, the, the easier that is to remember. But transistors have three layers. They're a semiconductor because they're made of a semiconducting material. And be sure to be careful with the exam question or the exam answers because one of the possible answers is triode which could throw you off for the three layers. So which of the components is made of three layers of semiconductor material? The answer is transistor. Which of the following electronic components can amplify signals? 
here we go with transistors again. Remember, transistors can amplify signals. How is the cathode lead of a semiconductor diode usually identified? It's usually identified with a stripe, and this is something you need to memorize. So a diode has two wires coming out of it. One's an anode and the other's a cathode. So the anode is the positive end and the cathode is the negative end. So when you install a, a diode into a circuit, you have to put in the correct way. So the anode to the positive side, the cathode to the negative side, or else it's going to mess up the flow of current in your circuit. So how is a, the cathode lead of a semiconductor diode usually identified? It's usually identified with a stripe. What does the abbreviation LED stand for? All right, an LED stands for a light emitting diode, and you can pretty much guess what it does. It emits light. And you see these all over the place right now. There are LEDs on control plant panels, flashlights are made out of LEDs, even traffic lights are made out of LEDs. They're fairly bright and they use very little power and they're much more efficient than regular light, bulb, regular light bulbs. What does the abbreviation FET stand for? All right, this is a field effect transistor. And this is different from the bipolar transistor we talked about earlier and the names of the leads are different as well. A FET has a gate, a source, and a drain as the lead names. Now, FETs control a circuit by varying electric field, and they often act as a switch. So if the electric field gets great enough, it'll stop all current coming through the transistor. What are the names of the two electrodes of a diode? All right, the two electrodes that come out of a diode are called the anode and the cathode. The anode is the positive end, and the cathode is the negative end. So just remember anode and cathode for a diode. What are the three electrodes of a PNP or NPN transistor? Well, those three electrodes are the emitter, the base, and the collector. And this is one you're going to need to memorize specifically for PNP and NPN transistors because other types of transistors, such as field effect transistors or FETs, have different names for their electrodes. But for a PNP or NPN transistor, those electrodes are called the emitter, the base, and the collector. What are the three electrodes of a field effect transistor? Those three electrodes are called the source, the gate, and the drain. And like the PNP and the NPN transistors, field effect transistors, or FETs, have three leads, but they have different names. And it's important not to get these confused with PNP and NPN transistors. The, for the FET, it's called, they're called source, gain, and drain. And once you get information on transistors, these will start making more sense. But for the purposes of this exam, it's all you really need to do is memorize them. So a field effect transistor, or FET, the name of its electrodes are source, gate, and drain. What is the term that describes a transistor's ability to amplify a signal? And this is called gain. And it's the answer on the exam that makes the most sense, but gain describes a transistor's ability to amplify a signal. And that ends the review, and now it's time for the T6B quiz. So take out a pencil and paper in number 1 through 12. When you're done with the quiz, be sure to swing by hamwhisper.com and check your answers. You can find it on the exam answers page under the T6B link. And I'm going to go through the questions pretty quick, so if you need more time, simply pause the video and take all the time you need. With that said, let's get started with the quiz. Question 1. What class of electronic components is capable of using a voltage or current signal to control current flow? A. Capacitors. B. Inductors. C. Resistors. Or D. Transistors. Question 2. What electronic component allows current to flow in only one direction? A. Resistor. B. Fuse. C. Diode. Or D. Driven element. Question 3. Which of these components can be used as an electronic switch or amplifier? A. Oscillator. B. Potentiometer. C. Transistor. Or D. Voltmeter. Question 4. Which of the following components can be made of three layers of semiconductor material? A. Alternator B. Transistor C. Triode or D. Pentagrid Converter Question 5. Which of the following electronic components can amplify signals? A. Transistor B. Variable resistor C. Electrolytic capacitor or D. Multicell battery Question 6. How is the semiconductor diode's cathode lead usually identified? A with the word cathode, B with a stripe, C with the letter C, or D, all of these choices are correct. Question 7. What does the abbreviation LED stand for? A low emission diode, B light emitting diode, C liquid emission detector, or D 
long echo delay. Question 8. What does the abbreviation FET or FET stand for? A. Field effect transistor. B. Fast electron transistor. C. Free electron transition. Or D. Field emission thickness. Question 9. What are the names of the two electrodes of a diode? A. Plus and minus. B. Source and drain. C. Anode and cathode. Or D. Gate and base. Question 10. What are the three electrodes of a PNP or NPN transistor? A. Emitter, base, and collector. B. Source, gate, and drain. C. Cathode, grid, and plate. Or D. Cathode, drift cavity, and collector. Question 11. What are the three electrodes of a field effect transistor? A. Emitter, base, and collector. B. Source, gate, and drain. C. Cathode, grid, and plate or D, cathode, gate, and anode. In question 12, what is the term that describes a transistor's ability to amplify a signal? A, gain, B, forward resistance, C, forward voltage drop, or D, on resistance? And that concludes the T6B lesson. And now that you're done with the quiz, be sure to swing by Ham Whisper and check your answers. And until next time in Lesson 21, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.